Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, giving you a behind the scenes look at our operation here at Jefflytics, how we're producing these videos for the 90 day challenge and showing you exactly what we do and how we develop a video. So this video is actually a meta concept where you're going to be able to see the video itself, but then also some of the behind the scenes stuff the deconstructed piece of what's going on here at Jefflytics. For example, behind me, you probably see a graphic right now, but if I go, you see the green screen. And now you can see exactly how it works behind the scenes. You can see exactly what it looks like when we're recording and how the raw video comes in. Maybe we can even switch to the raw audio that comes out of the camera and you can see how poor the quality is of the camera audio. We actually have a microphone here. You probably can't see it on camera yet, but I'll show you in just a second what the microphone looks like. And it's the same microphone I use to record both the on-screen stuff and the behind the scenes, the stuff that we do with screen grabs and sharing presentations. So I'll get to that in just a second here. But this is what our setup looks like. Now, if we zoom out, you can see exactly what it looks like in the room that I'm in. Now, this is a green screen. It's probably about six feet by six feet. When you look at it that way, it's taking up just a small space in my normal office. It's right behind me. It's not set up all the time. I don't record every single day. I really probably only record once every other day or once every third day because it's sort of a lot of work to get on camera. I have to make sure that I look good since I work from home or since I'm working from a location that's basically like a home, I have to actually get up and shower and do all that stuff. And so I don't record every single day and I don't always wanna be on camera every single day. And so that's how we do this. We batch these. This session, I'm probably gonna record about five to 10 on camera things at one point in time while it's here. And what I'll do is I'll change my shirt and I'll do some kind of changing around to make it look like it might have been filmed on a different day. But basically I'm filming a lot of these things in a batch setting. And that's really how this whole thing comes together. This is really how we do these processes. This is really how we record things. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you what it looks like as I look into the camera, as I record these things and how I can produce these things. And it's actually just me producing it. It's something that I do on my own. And then I have a team member who edits these and puts it all together. And so next we're gonna take a look at what I see as I'm looking into the camera. Okay, so here we are behind the scenes and I have my camera held up here. I'm actually using a selfie stick to record this thing for you. And I'm showing what it looks like on our end. Here's the microphone that it actually goes into. You can see here it's on a stand. It's a Yeti stereo microphone. And it's basically something that we have going up there. Now, if you wanna see what I look like behind the scenes, here's me behind the scenes in my situation. The green screen is down and I'm just recording and just letting you know my insights on how we do this, how we get all this stuff done. And so that's an insider perspective of what I look like when I'm sitting here recording. It's not that glamorous, and that's why I don't spend a lot of time with you seeing me in my chair, because it's just like anybody else's chair anywhere. Where the real magic happens is we put me on the green screen or we put something on the green screen and we utilize that as a way to add graphics and make this a little bit more engaging than just a guy sitting at his computer. But this is my studio, this is my setup, and I hope that you did enjoy seeing this because this is a cool way that we go about things. And so this is how our recording setup works for our on-screen videos. Hopefully you see some of the cool things that we do behind the scenes to make this look good, to make it work for you. The other thing I'll say is that as we go through this 90 day challenge, I'm not always gonna be in the office. I'm not always gonna be in this makeshift studio. So we might do some on camera stuff that happens without a green screen, without the comforts of having the type of microphone that we have here. We might actually move to a lavalier microphone. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I'm traveling for a big piece of this challenge, basically from the middle of March through the end of April. So the second half of the challenge, I will not be in the office. And so I'm not sure if we're gonna have everything done by the time that I leave, that would be ideal. But there's some things that I might wanna do as we are traveling. I wanna interview some people. I actually wanna interview the person who invented the 90 day challenge, Miles Beckler, and talk to him about it when we're in Slovenia together in March. And so we'll see how this all comes together. I'm recording this before I know the fate. This is video number 29 out of 90. And so we're about one third of the way through and we'll see how this thing unravels, how it shapes up but I've really enjoyed doing this so far. And so next, what I wanna do is I wanna show you our recording setup for how we record the on-screen videos where we do a screenshot or a screen grab from a PowerPoint presentation or some kind of web browser. And I'm gonna snap my fingers and I'm gonna take you there next. Now, of course, this might seem a little bit disjointed, but that's the miracle of editing. So I'm gonna get in there, make sure that I'm close enough to the microphone. And here's me talking now. So that's our on-camera filming process. Now let's go through our process for filming on screen. 
So our on-screen filming process is simply me working out of a PowerPoint deck that we've created and I just go through the different slides that are there. As you can see here, I'm in presenter mode. I can see what slide's coming up next. That does help with some of the scripting pieces and some of the flow pieces of this. Now, a lot of times we'll have notes in there as to things we should be saying during a certain frame of the video, but in this case, there's no notes at all. You can see there's no notes. It's basically just ad lib, Jeff. Just whatever you wanna say about our filming process, you can do. And then once this is done, we end up having several files that we send on to our editing team. And so this is what it looks like. We have the Camtasia project. Now we use Camtasia, that's what this app is that you're seeing on my screen right now. That's Camtasia. We have our MP4, which is me on the green screen. We have our WAV file, which is the audio file that you saw just a little bit ago. And then the PowerPoint, which is just the overall deck that we're using. So this is the PowerPoint that we're in right now. And sometimes my editor needs to overlay different pieces from the presentation, or we just want better slides, and that's where the PowerPoint comes in. And so all these things are available for the editing process. And basically, my team member pulls them down and makes the edits and just makes it all look really good. Now, if you like this behind the scenes view as to what we're doing here, remember to sign up for our channel on YouTube because that's the way that you're gonna know about the next video when it comes out, the next behind the scenes video. We really like showing you an insider perspective into our process, see how we go through things, see how this stuff all works because this is what we do. This is how we are putting together these 90 videos. Now, I'm actually filming this thing as I go along just sort of wild to see that, but that's how this all comes together. Basically, I just read through these presentations, I go through this process, and we do this for every one of our videos. Now, some of these things are really well constructed, like I don't really have much room for error, I just go exactly with what's on the slides. Sometimes we leave ourselves more room to clarify and to ad lib and stuff like that. This is a pretty much all ad lib job, this behind the scenes look, because I figured I'd show you what it looks like behind the scenes.